The Tigers went 1-1 one one in their games this past week with a loss at Hofstra and a win over Elon at home. We'll review those games today on this edition of the Tiger Basketball Report, which begins now. AT&T knows the best kind of holiday is the kind where everyone gets what they wished for. Make this holiday extra happy when you buy one, get one free on our most popular smartphones. Like the Samsung Galaxy S6. Buy one, get one free. So spread some cheer and capture every minute of it. Right now at AT&T, buy one, get one free on our most popular smartphones. How long does it take to change the game of basketball? Days, years, decades? How about point four seconds? All of a sudden, big ain't so big no more. Small ain't so small. The step back three is the new dunk. Follow through is the new poster. Range is the new hang time. How long to change the game of basketball? One second or less. White Barkett's Ice Cream Plant is based in Sunbury, Pennsylvania, and is locally owned and operated. We've been making our ice cream for nearly 50 years. We create roughly 70 flavors of ice cream right now. We use local ingredients, especially our cream, which is from our milk plant. The cream is what gives our, our ice cream a rich and creamy texture. Now, together with our customers, uh, we've created a, a product called Peanut Butter Indulgence, which will be coming out this summer. It's a peanut butter ice cream with sea salt caramel swirl and chocolate covered pretzels. How could you go wrong with that? Personally, I love our ice cream. You come to our house at any given time, you'll find at least five packets of ice cream in our freezer. Uh, our kids grew up eating wise quality ice cream, and now we get to treat our grandchildren to it. It's been a pleasure for me to be tasting ice cream for over 40 years for Wise Markets, and, and I'm loving every minute of it. Hello and welcome Tiger fans to the Towson Sports Network studios for today's edition of the Tiger Basketball Report. I'm your host Spiro Marikas. The Tigers traveled up to Long Island for a game against Hofstra last Thursday where the Tigers fell 84-82. to However, the Tigers came back, rebounded at home against Elon where they took on the Phoenix and beat them 67-56. to Let's take a look at the highlights from this past week's action. Iron looks inside, now takes it to the foul line, bounces it back out to Morcel. He comes down to the baseline, hops, step, and a jump, and scores. I think nine, we got nine. away with one there, but hey, we'll take it. Back to Morcel to the foul line, feeds it down low to Parker Rivera, goes in for the slam dunk, and it's 11-9, Tigers Great by two. Great pass by Mike Morcel. Badalamoto hands it off to Keith. Keith's going to drive in, flips it into the left corner. Davis open for a three. Good by John Davis. <laughs> he has become a really good three-point shooter. Look at He's even smiling walking down. He knows. He's, he's feeling it. 19-14 Tigers matches their largest lead. My night tonight. Bowie going to take it inside, lays it up. Basket is good, and he's fouled. Throws it ahead to Hawkins, goes one-on-one, -on -one, flips it to Davis, who is coming down the left side, and John with a slam dunk as Byron Hawkins with a beautiful pass, and the Tigers go up 3, 26-23. And Hofstra comes away with it the other way. Bernardi comes down. He'll launch a three and hit it. Wow, what a turn of events there. Looked like we had a layup, and we turn around and give up a three. 30-28, to 28, Hofstra back up top to Adalamoto. Left Good side patience. to Morcel. Mike to the foul line, takes it. Lays it nice. up, basket rolls around the rim, and good. The Tigers are up 45-43. There's a drive by Green, oh, hands nice it pass. off to Goosty, slam dunk. 50 all with 16.43 to go. Feed over midcourt, 
work it. Left corner, Bernardi for three, and he cans it. His third three, he's got nine, and Hofstra by four, 66-62 with 10.15 to go. Back to Parker Rivera, left side to Morsell. Mike to the top of the key, drives, comes down, turns, spins, puts it up, banks it, and scores. Morsell with 11, Tigers down four, 79-75 with 2.40 remaining. 5-1-4 on for the Tigers, give it to Adalamona, who lays it up, basket's good, and he's fouled. How about that? Crowd wants the foul on Johnny Davis for uh, battling the rebound down there with Goosties. Seven seconds. Green going to drive, flip it down. Oh. Oh, Goosties lays it up and in Unbelievable. with 2.7 seconds left. And Pat Scary calls timeout. Looking, looking to Hawkins. Byron going to fire it up. Back oh. to the back of the rim, no good. And Hofstra wins 84-82. Back up top to Morsell, get it to Adalamoto, right of the foul line. William gonna drive, banks it up and home. Two nothing Tigers as William Adalamoto, who had 27 in the first game between these two schools, comes up with the first bucket of the ball game. Gonna drive down the lane, flip it in the corner to Davis. Davis with a three point shot and it's good. John Davis with his 22nd three point basket and the Tigers up eight to two. Dawkins dribbles to his right. Feeds it back up top to Davis. Davis to the foul line. Spins, turns, puts up a left-handed shot, and he scores. John Davis with five. Tigers down one, 15-14. With exactly 10 minutes to go here in the half. William gets it left side to Davis. 10 on the shot clock. Cross-court pass into the corner. Keith for three from the right side, and he hits. Eddie Keith with his 13th three-point basket, and we're tied at 17 with nine minutes to go on the half. Adalamoto's got it ahead to Morsell. Mike comes down the right. Mike feeds it left. Davis going to unload a three. Got it! John Davis with his second three and a timeout called by Matt Matheny as the Tigers up 27-22. to Morsell moving to his right, feeds it into the corner to Hawkins. Byron up top to Parker Rivera. Tamaj hands it off to Morsell, going to fire an 18-footer. And it hits off the rim, off the backboard, and goes. Mike Morsell with his first points in the game, and the Tigers by eight, 31-23. Hawkins back at the midcourt circle, feeds it right side of the lane to Adalamoto, into the corner to Davis, going to drive the baseline. He'll bank it up and score. John Davis with 12, and the Tigers go up 35-29. Dribbles right. Feeds it to Foster. Walter turns, right-handed hook. Shot is good by Walter Foster. He's got four in the Tigers by 10, 44-34. Bounce it back up top to Morsell. Mike, 15 on the shot clock, gonna fire a three-point shot, and he hit it. Mike Morsell with seven, and the Tigers go back up by 10, 51-41, 9.45 to go. Byron hands it off to Walter at the midcourt circle. He'll dribble to his left, hand it off to Keith. Keith to the foul, to the paint, stops, puts it up, scores. Eddie Keith with the bucket. He's got seven, and the Tigers by 11, their biggest lead of the game. As Towson gets the victory here on this Saturday afternoon at CQ Arena. Towson is now 19 and 10 overall, 10 and six in the CAA, and they have secured a top six finish in the CAA which means they don't have to play on Friday at Royal Farms Arena the first weekend in March. Joining us now, the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary. And coach, congratulations. I know that for you and, and everyone involved, 10 wins in this conference is pretty darn good. <laughs> Certainly this year, maybe more than any other year, you know. So, yeah, I'm, pr I'm, I'm proud of our guys. They've proven to be uh, resilient in, in spite of our inconsistencies <laughs> at times. Um, and we've got a good vibe to us right now. We have got two very, very tough games this week. And, but you know, it's important to be playing meaningful games in February and leading into March. And that's what you want out of your program. And, and we're back to doing that after a little bit of a, a hiccup. And that's something we expect moving forward. You look back at the Hofstra game last week, you lost, fine. But they came down here to CQ Arena, won by 32 points. On Thursday, that was, and I know you lost, so you're not going to feel this way, but for those who watched it, that was one of the best played games we've seen all year long. It was exciting from start to finish, 21 lead changes. So you showed, you certainly, not only can you play with it, you can beat that team. You know, Joe Mahalik's done a great job. He's a good friend. Uh, it was a 
tough game to coach, but it was a great game to watch. I broke it down. You know, we both teams played at an extremely high level offensively. I mean, a lot of good players in that game, and they made plays. Uh, neither king, team could stop each other, which is something that personally frustrates me. But part of it has to do with just how good the players were in both games. And, uh, you know, it was a war, and we just we just didn't make quite enough plays. But, you know, credit to, credit to Hofstra. Um, yeah, it's just uh, they're a good team. They're, they're, they're a really good team. As good a team maybe as I've seen since I've been, been in the league, you know, ta- talent-wise. And, and, you know, we're, we're right there. We're right there. It's uh, every game when it does get to Royal Farm Sparrow is, is, is going to be an absolute meat grinder of a game. <laughs> it, it is. I mean, you look at it. We'll talk about that in later episodes, but it's going to be something else down there. Um, you come back home. You take on Elon a team that gave you all you could handle down in North Carolina. After you jumped out to a big lead, they came back and, and, and almost pulled off a victory. But this was a game where completely different from the Hofstra game on Thursday night in, in, in terms of style, much slower pace. Uh, was that a game more to your liking, you think? I think we're comfortable either way, um, but I think up to, up-tempo is good for us. Um, you know, Elon's a, such a good shooting, passing team, and... and try to switch up defenses. I, I thought we got off to really good starts in both halves, and, and then maybe the ball movement wasn't where it needed to be. But where we were really good respond, responding was their prolific three-point shooting team. We guarded the three. We rebounded. We, re, we really defended. We got back to playing Towson defense and rebound. That's the one thing I've told my guys. I think we got enough good players we're going to score. I really do believe that. Um, but I, I, it's important, as I've tried to get across, if I'm going to put my head on the pillow at night, we better have guarded and rebounded. So... I thought we. Got, I was proud that we got back to doing that on on Saturday here at CQ. It was it was a really good environment. Not only that, but Tanner Sampson, their leading scorer, shut out. You don't see that very often where a team's leading scorer doesn't score. No, it's team team effort. But Mike Morcel has guarded the other team's best perimeter guys all year. Him and him and Eddie Keith and, and you know those guys um, to be guarded at a, you know uh, an all defensive team level. Um, you know, and, and and a lot of that stuff doesn't get get noticed or appreciated enough, uh, in my opinion. Another thing that Saturday was was Autism Awareness Weekend. Um, how do you feel it went? It's, what, in year three now? National year three, four, four years on campus. It went great. We had a good environment. Uh, it's great watching the games all night. Uh, like, you know, it's a, I'm still tired. I'm still trying to kind of catch my breath. And I don't know if I, my kids have been sick, so I don't know if I'm fighting that and every, everything else with, with the long weekend. But it was, it was great to get the win and then sit back and enjoy it and see how the event has, has grown. But now we've turned the page, and we got to find a way to get some more wins. <laughs> I know before the game I was talking with your assistant, Kevin Clark, and he's like, man, I love noon games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he wants to go. He's got a lovely wife, Robin. They, 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 I'm sure they got a nice dinner on Saturday night. The kids are out of the house, so that's good for him. That's what he said. Yeah. You can get an early dinner. That's good. You know what I do I say, which is great? All, every CAA coach, head coach, and their staff had the pins for the weekend, so I was appreciative of you know, conference membership and doing and them, them participating in the event. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, I, I watched four or five games on set. There, there wasn't a coach that didn't have one on every game I watched. I found two. Had... I'm going to leave them nameless right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they didn't get theirs in the mail. All right, that'll do it for this episode of the Tiger Basketball Report. Join us on Wednesday on TowsonTigers.com or the Towson Tigers on YouTube where Coach Scary and I will preview the Tigers next game against the Dukes of James Madison in the final home game at CQ Arena. Thanks for joining us. For head coach Pat Scary, I'm Spiro Marikas, and as always, go Tigers.